Welcome back, art students. I am on the next part. I'm really excited. I just got done tracing all of my stencil. I'm carefully going to remove the tape. Careful not to rip my paper. And after I remove my tape, then I can remove my stencil. And then you will see how it turned out. Here we go. Okay, now I'm carefully gonna lift it up. We'll see how it turned out. Hopefully it got all my spots. Ta-da! That is pretty cool. All right, now the last part, once you have traced all of your stencil, I want you to color it. And I want you to color in more specifically, pay attention here. I want you to color in all of these spaces what used to be our holes in our paper that's what i want you to color in here and we're gonna it's very important that we follow that because we want this to continue to be our negative space the space that surrounds our shapes is called the negative space we want to keep that white how you decide to color yours with color pencils is up to you entirely. You can use any colors you want. You could use one color, you could use two colors, three colors, four colors, five colors, infinity colors. <laughs> you could do a color scheme where it's all hot or whether it's all cold or whether it's all neutral. You could do it any way you desire, okay? And that's what's gonna be really fun about this process is to see how different everyone's geometric design turns out. So I'm just going to start here. And if you want a consistent pattern with your coloring, you could do that. If you want something a little different where it's not really a pattern, you could try that out. And this might be a good time to also practice some value changes. So if you press really hard and you gradually get lighter and lighter and lighter because I noticed in a lot of um, Enigma's artwork that there's some value shifting or value gradual va uh, value changes like a value scale so that would be an example maybe you want to layer in a secondary color or not a secondary color but another color on top of it if you want to experiment a little bit with some color mixing that can be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll try, I kind of like this theme so far with the purples. And maybe I'll do blue. And I want you to do a really good job with your coloring on this project. Take your time, go slow. Try to keep your white space white. If you notice you accidentally get a little bit of color dust on it from your pencils, erase it with your eraser. I'm going to try doing some more value changing.
And okay, so I'm just gonna continue coloring all of this and it's probably gonna take me a while to do and I'm not really in any kind of hurry because I want my coloring to turn out really nice. So I'm just gonna take my time and just continue on. Okay, I'll show you in the next video how it looks when it's all completed. I'll see you there.